Hello everyone. Today in this video I'm going to test the cheapest 32GB microSD memory cards which you can buy from AliExpress. I'm trading with cameras, so my plan is to give one 32GB memory cards with every camera. So actually I need uh, reliable 32GB memory cards which can record full HD video. So I, I bought a bunch of uh, memory cards from AliExpress. Actually that's uh, 9 memory cards. So today in this video I'm going to test them. I'm going to answer two questions. The first one is if the memory card is, is a real 32 gigabytes memory cards, because there are fake ones, so the first four or eight gigabytes can be written and read, but all the other is, uh, is not uh, readable. I have a software which writes 32 gigabytes of, of data on the memory card and then read it back. If the writing and reading is, is successful, then the uh, memory card is a real one, so, uh, so the whole 32 gigabytes can be written and read. The second question is, uh, what is the speed? So usually th those memory cards are, are class 10 memory cards, so in theory it can uh, be written 10 megabytes per sec. So uh, I'm going to test that. Uh, it is needed for a full HD video, so uh, I really need a class 10 uh, memory card. So let's get started. So those are the nine memory cards that I bought from AliExpress. Uh, the price range was between uh, two and a half euros to uh, three point seven euros, and uh, there were three, two memory cards which came from the same seller. So the uh, memory card uh, on the top right and the memory card on the uh, middle left came from the same seller. The memory cards were bought in early 2021. So if you uh, see this video later, then most likely you can buy the memory cards much cheaper. Let me show you the memory card reader I'm going to use to test the memory cards. This is a SanDisk uh, uh, ImageMate all-in-one USB 3.0 memory card reader. It can read both uh, SD cards and microSD. So in, uh, for testing I'm going to use the microSD connector, so without the SD adapter. Again, this is a USB 3.0 reader, so it can read faster than about 30-34 uh, megabytes per sec. So this is a great tool for testing the memory cards. This is the first software that I'm going to use to test the memory cards. The name of the software is H2TestW. So it's, uh, I guess it's a German made software. It uh, does have English language. What it does is it writes all available spades on the memory cards and then reads it back. So it tests the speed of the memory card and uh, then it tests if the data can be read back perfectly. On the screen you can see when the software is working. Of course the video is, is speed up because the um, writing and the reading uh, is, takes lots of time. The speed that you can see here is the average writing speed and the average reading speed. That means the average of uh, writing the card fully with data and then the average reading speed of the uh, reading back the, all of the data. If uh, the software gives error during reading then it means that the memory card is faulty or the memory card is fake. If the memory card is fake then the whole memory card can be written but uh, during reading the first uh, two, four or eight gigabytes can be read so uh, basically that's a 2, 4 or 8 gigabytes card which is uh, expanded uh, virtually to 32 or 36 or, or whatever gigabytes uh, they are written on the label. So with the software if the reading procedure is finished without any errors then the memory card is, is working. Here is an example when the memory card is, is faulty. So as you can see 141 megabyte data lost. So I would highly recommend to uh, not use the memory card in this case. This is the other software I use to test the memory cards. It is called Crystal Disk Mark, which is uh, mostly used to test hard drives, but of course it can be used to test the memory cards. The settings I used is the software will uh, write and read one time 16 gigabytes of data and this is where the numbers, the test results came from. In the first two rows you can see the sequential reading and writing results. The numbers are quite close. 
And the next two rows are the random uh, reading and writing uh, results, which are much uh, slower. Actually, with memory cards, it is not really important because the camera writes the uh, data sequentially. So the sequential reading and writing uh, results are much more important in my case. The other remarkable thing is that the reading and writing uh, numbers are a little bit different which the other software gives. The reason is that uh, the software uh, checks the uh, 16 gigabytes data, the first 16 gigabytes, and the other one is the full uh, memory card. So that's where the difference comes from. So that is enough about um, the softwares I'm using for testing the memory cards. Let's uh, continue with the test results. So those are the results. Uh, on the first uh, name column, there are the name of the memory cards, basically the name which is written on the memory card. The label is uh, which is written on the other side of the memory card, so that was factory labels. So the seller is the store where I uh, bought the memory card from. Those are on AliExpress. The price, those are the prices that I paid in euros. So I'm living in the European Union, so I paid in euros. Those are test results with the H2 test W software. The writing speed and the reading speed are, are in uh, megabytes per sec. So those are the H2 test V re re reading writing speeds. Uh, the other ones are crystal disk mark. Now those are the sequential um, reading and writing speeds. And those are the random read and write writing speeds. Now I incl included the random uh, also, but uh, for me it is not really important, as I have told before, because the memory card will be used in a camera and that uh, reads and writes sequentially, so those numbers are more important. Now there were one memory card which was faulty. It had like uh, 140 megabytes uh, of faulty data, so basically the H2 test W software could not read back the data. So of course in this case I'm not going to use that uh, memory card, so let's do a strike through. Let's eliminate that. Actually, as you can see, there were four memory cards which came from two stores. So those, those two were, came from the digital products factory store. And the micro drive and the stick drive was came from the Microdata Global store. Now, the, uh, interestingly, the label on the other side of the memory cards is, is the same or in the case of all the four memory cards. But the reading and writing speed is, is quite different. The two memory cards which came from the Dig Digital Products Factory Store, the reading and writing speed are quite uh, similar. And uh, the um, two memory cards which came from the Microdata Global Store, the reading and writing speed are also quite similar. So I guess those are just the uh, same memory cards but uh, with a different label. And well, it's quite interesting that uh, that or by the label on the other side, those are four memory cards should be the same, but uh, the speed is different uh, by the by the stores by the seller. So basically, looking at the data, I would like to highlight uh, three memory cards, which is which I consider to be cheap and and uh, quite fast. So I would give them five stars. The first is the SanDisk. Which, which can uh, be written by 20 megabytes per sec and can be read by uh, 84.1 megabytes per sec, which is uh, quite good looking at the price. The other two are the memory cards which came from the digital products factory store, so the memory card and the microdata. I guess uh, those are the same memory cards but with a different uh, label on the front because the, uh, the speeds are quite similar and also the uh, label on the, on the back is the same. It is quite similar, I would say, so I give them also a 5 star. And um, the other memory cards are 
are quite slow. So basically, every almost every memory card can uh, can be written by 10 megabytes per sec. That FFOS is is quite close actually with 9.41 megabytes per sec. So I I, I expect that this memory card can be uh, used for uh, full HD videos also, but the uh, price is much higher than the other two, which can be uh, written by uh, by more than two times. So uh, I would go with the with one of those. So let's see the let's see the other ones. If we compare the uh, price of those three. You, we can see that the uh, mi micro data and memory card is much cheaper than the SanDisk. The difference is, is around 1 euros. But in my case, I, in the future, I'm going to uh, buy uh, multiple or, or many memory cards. So I would go with the one of those two, basically the cheaper one. I will go with the micro data memory card. Now, but, but let's see the other memory cards also. So the Allux memory card is uh, the writing speed is quite okay but the reading speed is, is very slow so of course if we compare it to the uh, micro data memory card the reading speed is, is much slower and uh, the price is a little bit higher so uh, I'm not going to um, choose that the FOS is the writing speed is quite slow and the uh, price is, is much higher uh, almost as high as the SanDisk so if so the SanDisk would be a better choice but of course I'm going to go with the micro data which is quite cheap the reading writing speed is is quite high now mac micro drive is, is faulty so uh, that is disqualified from the race the Olevo is also very slow especially the reading speed is is only 17 megabytes per sec the Qi DNS is reading speed is quite fast, I would say. The writing speed is is really slow, so um, and also much more expensive than the micro data. So again, uh, I would say micro data would be a better choice. Uh, of course, the SanDisk is is there. I'm not sure if it is original or not. But the reading and writing speed is in par with the uh, micro data, but the price is around one euros higher. There is a stick drive, which is quite slow, I would say, or the writing speed and reading speed also. So my choice will be the micro data. Now I'm going to um, uh, leave the links in the description below to all the stores, all the memory cards. And of course, I will highlight the mac micro data memory card, which can be purchased from the Digital Products Factory store. This is one of the cheapest memory card I can buy. And the winner is the micro data memory card, which is actually one of the cheapest and one of the fastest memory card so in the future I'm going to um, buy that and give it away with my cameras that I sell. The link to the AliExpress store is in the description below. This is an AliExpress affiliate link so if you buy that using my link then I get some commission and that doesn't cost you anymore. The seller of the memory card does not sponsor me so that is not a sponsored product so I don't get uh, any money for that uh, video from the store or the manufacturer or the mem memory card. If you buy this memory card or any other, I would highly recommend to uh, test it with the H2 Test W software to make sure that uh, the full capacity of the memory card is working so it can be written and read back. I bought the memory cards in early 2021 so uh, since then I guess the prices will go down and, uh, and some of the memory cards might not be available. So on the screen you can see the uh, test results of the microdata memory card. The writing speed is more than 20 megabytes per sec which is plenty for recording full HD videos and the reading speed is around 80 to 90 megabytes per sec so you can uh, copy the data from the memory card very fast. Of course, to have that uh, reading speed, you need a USB 3.0 memory card reader. So again, you can find the AliExpress links to this memory card and all the others and all the other stores. 
I hope this video was useful, helpful and informative. So if that's the case, please like this video, subscribe to my channel and send me a donation. The links are in the description below.